Hello everybody, this is another tip uh, that I've learned the hard way from uh, decking out my sea -Doo Fish Pro. I got a 2019 sea -Doo Fish Pro. It's one of the best crafts I've ever had. Uh, I used to have a Yamaha 12, SUV 1200, which is a real wide body, longer model that was really, really good too. But they didn't uh, make that in a four stroke, so I, uh, you know, I traded that one out. Um, and then uh, I had some other, some uh, FX cruisers, but now I've gotten this uh, wide body uh, model of the, of the Fish Pro. And as you might have learned from my other videos, I'm a long distance rider. I'll ride two to 400 miles at a time. Um, I just like riding, just getting out and riding. Um, and um, so I have my craft uh, decked out with things that'll help me make, make it easier for me to, to do that. One of the things that right off the bat that I installed in my Fish Pro was a supplemental, um, a, a supplemental bilge pump. I have the stock bilge pump or the accessory bilge pump that uh, comes on that's in the back of the boat also uh, but uh, I wanted another one with a float switch so I installed one mm, at the at the back of the craft back in here and uh, this video isn't going to be about how to install that there's other videos that tell you how to install and how to wire things and everything but what I want to talk to you today about is the placement of the discharge port um, and where where you should place it um, and if you place it in certain places the things you have to watch out for here's my discharge port on on my on my sea -Doo. and the reason i put it here is because when i ride if i started having trouble with the carbon seal or leakage coming in or something like that i needed basically immediate notification that i was having problems um aside from my boat sinking i guess it, and that is to have the water uh being discharged through the discharge port here um, I wanted it to hit my leg. I wanted to fill the wheel well. Uh, of course, one of the problems here that you have is this discharge port, as you can see, it's 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 below it's below the level of the gunnel. All right, and the problem is you can't if you place it up here, you can't place it high enough to get it up above the gunnel. And, the re and I'll tell you the reason why you want it above the gunnel, you'd like to have it above, is so that when you store your craft out, outside or you take it to the shop and they, and they happen to store it outside for a month while they're telling you they're working on it or something like that, and a big hurricane comes in and water fills, fills the wells, the water is going to back drain into here. It's going to go into the inside of your engine compartment. It's going to kick on your pump. Uh, your sump pump, which is on the float switch, and it's just going to keep recycling the water until your battery is dead, and then the water is going to fill up until it flows over over the gunnel. Um, and, of course, that's going to flood out your engine compartment. Uh, and, of course, you can put, you can put the port uh, back in the back. The only problem is that you don't have the quite immediate notification. Yes, the water's going to run here and run in there, but sometimes when you're running around and doing a lot of stuff in the water, these, these wells have water in them anyway, uh, so you won't get the immediate uh, notification that you've got a problem from the discharge. But you could, put it, you could put it back here, and that would get it above the level. But on mine, I didn't, and what I've learned is the tip is Whenever you're storing your boat outside or it's going to get water in here, always unscrew your drain plug in the back. Uh, I've never done that in the past because I keep my craft on the inside. But if it's going to be stored outside, go ahead and put the drain, take the drain plug and loosen it. So if any water does get on the inside, it'll drain to the outside. Well, okay, that's my... Uh, hard learned tip for the day luckily for me it didn't mess up my engine or anything but uh, when i went to pick up my uh my vehicle from the shop after they uh <clears throat> well basically they hadn't worked on it they couldn't get to it so i decided to pick it up i took off the engine cover just to see what was going on and i found water in the hull and it's like whoa what's that and of course my battery was dead too so anyway i hope you enjoyed this tip uh and i hope it helps you out sometime gopro stop recording